Welcome to Proofpoint's how-to video tutorial series, which is aimed at sharing Proofpoint's professional services best practices for configuring the Proofpoint protection servers, features, and functionalities. This video tutorial demonstrates how to manually create an anti-spoof rule using the Proofpoint protection server, or PPS. Business email compromise, or BEC, is one of the current tactics that cyber attackers use in their continuing attempt to make money via the internet. To help prevent this, we will create an email firewall rule that will look for a customer's email address in either the sender or from field on all messages arriving from the internet. In the more current versions of PPS, the anti-spoof rule has been created as a template which can be activated or disabled. Prior to PPS 8.2, the anti-spoof rule had to be created manually. To begin this process, click on the Email Protection tab at the top of the screen and then navigate to the Email Firewall module. Next, select the Rules page. Click the Add Rule button and then select the On Radio button to enable the rule. Enter an identifier for the rule. To restrict processing for specific policy routes, select the corresponding checkbox. For this example, we'll select the default inbound policy route and move it over to the Require Any Of field. Next, select the Add Condition button. Within the pop-up window, select Envelope Sender from the Condition drop-down menu. For the operator, select is in domain. And finally, for the value, we can input acme.com. At the bottom of the pop up window, click on the Add Condition button. We can now see that a new condition has been added. To create another condition for our anti spoof rule, we can again select the Add Condition button. Remember to select the OR radio button at the top of the screen. We will also want to choose Message Headers in the Condition drop-down, as well as From in the Attribute drop-down. Finally, in the Value field, enter the At sign, followed by the primary customer email domain. As before, click on the Add Condition button. For the rule disposition, select the Quarantine Message checkbox and then create or select a spoofed folder to save a copy of the messages. Verify that the delivery method is set to Continue. This will allow the original message to be delivered to the original recipient. To notify the recipient that this message actually originated from outside of the organization, select the checkbox titled Change Subject Based on Detected Language and then add External dollar sign, and subject for the original subject line. Before we finish creating the rule, we need to add a policy route for our safe list. Begin by selecting the System tab and then click on the Policy Routes module. Next, select the Add button. Name the new policy route Spoof Safe, followed by a description. Finally, select the Save Changes button. At this point, we can go back to the new anti-spoof rule and select the Disable Processing checkbox. Choose Spoof Safe from the left list and move it to the Disable for Any field on the right. In the future, as legitimate spoof senders are found, we can add the sender IP address to the Spoof Safe policy route. Once the legitimate spoofing sources have been identified and added to the Spoof Safe policy route, the next step is to start blocking the delivery of spoofed messages from all other sources. This can be done by changing the delivery method from Continue to Discard, and then select the Save Changes button. 
the spoof quarantine folder should be monitored on an ongoing basis to look for new, legitimate spoofed email that should be allowed through. Thank you for watching our brief how to video tutorial on how to manually create an anti spoof rule using the Proof Point Protection Server or PPS. For additional information on our products, visit our knowledge base at https colon forward slash forward slash proofpointcommunities.force.com. For questions, comments, or feedback on this tutorial, please email us at training at proofpoint.com.